your boyfriend is what is what a fucking loser oh. this game contains explicit images and content oh that may something something <coughs> black shepherd games Boyfriend, your beloved, your one and only. Okay, so this game is supposed to be creepy or like fucked up because this man right here is obsessed with us. So, yeah, okay, chill, chill, chill. Okay, this game contains explicit images and content that may be disturbing or triggering to some audiences enjoy heart 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 oh yo 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 oh my fucking god nah i'm scared yo what the fuck yo what the fuck i should have been on this game of a fucking lesbian go ahead a queen Quinn, Quinn. Uncle Quinn, you two have fun. It's just loud. My family broke out into another fit of drama, so I left the nest, ran straight to college, and got an apartment and a job. But lately, my job has been. Wait, my job at a greasy spoon diner has been unbearable. This job doesn't pay the best, so that meant I had to find a roommate to afford an apartment. And now my roommate is always bringing some dropout into our apartment for late night study sessions. My sleep schedule is wrecked, and even better, the rent on the apartment is late. I had heard once that if you become a roommate with a friend, you won't stay friends for long. In my case, the friendship is gets strained thinner as my friend keeps making excuses why they need me to cover their half on the rent. Thanks to that deadbeat, I'm working harder just to lose money on the rent. I'm nearly broke and getting a second job feels like it will kill me. At least in this park, I have some alone time. Yo, 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 yo. I'm dead ass, bro. I don't want to see this guy. Why did, why did, well, like, that jump scare was unnecessary. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I've always loved this part of the park. It's untouched by obnoxious family members and college jerks. The only people who come here are the ground keepers. Grounds keepers. Even then, they only come by in the morning. Closing my eyes. Oh, no, no, no. He's gonna be there. Yo, chill, chill, chill. Closing my eyes, I rub my face and huff out the tension in my lungs so that I could calm down enough to enjoy the peace and quiet. Yeah. Oh, God. Just then, I feel- Ah! There's someone sit down beside me! Startled, I turn and look towards the interloper! Whoa, okay. hey, take it easy. It's just me. What? Shut the fuck up! Shut up, you scared the fuck out of me! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, that lag scared me. Stranger says, trying to keep me from leaping too high off- of the beat bat bop bop okay leaping too high off of the park bench you're a jumpy one ain't ya i guess you would say so if you fucking jump scared me like that he smiles and scoots himself closer to me shyly and awkwardly boy yo i don't even know you what are you doing bro i keep my eyes on him unsure of what his intentions are his unblinking eyes don't stray from mine not once Oh my god. Why isn't he talking? So, are you waiting for a family member or a friend? It just seems kind of odd for you to be sitting here all alone like this and so far away from the jogging track. A chill runs down my spine. I cross my arm over my chest and slide myself away from him and closer to the edge of the bench. How often does the same person walk up to you out of the blue and start asking such questions? 
Not often. For me, at least. Yeah, never. He picks up my unease and refrains from sliding any closer. He crosses his fingers in between his legs and smiles warmly. I mean, you don't look like a groundskeeper or one of the old people feeding pigeons after doing Tai Chi. No! Oh shit, I thought I was speaking the whole time. Uh, I'm not good at voice acting, so I can't really, you know, do this type of shit. So, you just have to bear with me. No, I'm just getting some alone time to myself. Things have been pretty intense lately. He scoots himself even closer, his hand nearly touching mine as he smiles shyly. Bro, bro, bro. You just met me. And you're doing like crazy things right now. Like you're crossing crazy boundaries, bro. Why are you touching a stranger you don't even know the name of, man? Like I don't even know your name. You don't know mine. And why are you touching me like that, bro? Fucking weirdo. Um, look. I know this is sudden, <clears throat> very sudden. But may I have the pleasure in taking you out to dinner? Maybe if you were a girl. But you know what? Right now, we're straight, so... Can you have the pleasure? Can I have the pleasure? Never mind. He was the weird one. I can't tell if he's a bit awkward or just eccentric. What? Why? Why did he have such an interest in me? Well, I'm your boyfriend. Whoa! Whoa! Boyfriend? Okay, you- Who the fuck says that? No, 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 <sighs> You don't even have words, it's all just like jumbled in my head. Okay. <clears throat> Isn't that why you're here? What do you mean? Why I'm what? I already told you why I'm here for a long time. Nani? My boyfriend. Why would he be assuming we were in a relationship? There is an awkward silence as the stranger sits, patiently waiting for my answer. Uh, or it's like, I'm a lesbian, you know? Okay, I'm joking, I need to- I'm straight, I'm straight- Oh, fuck, I don't know what to say! Yo, I panic. The discomforting silence only grows, still unsure and confused why the situation- By the situation. I couldn't even find words. It was just so sudden. On oh, God. He seemed to take the hint and pulls his hand away from my- That's right. That's right. Looking away, he chuckles awkwardly. <laughs> hey, I get it. If you don't want me to be your boyfriend, I just thought I'd take the chance to ask you out. If he's guilt tripping me... He's doing a terrible job, but at least he's taking the hint rather than pushing it. Well, it's just that I don't even know you, so... And I get it. <laughs> don't worry, I get it. He says, not at all. Was that even the right word? Daijobudes. All good. Don't worry. Oh, same shit. I don't care. He says, not at all expressing disappointment, but more along the lines of showing understanding. Nice. I, I suppose I'd be a little weirded out, too, if some random stranger came up and asked me out on a date. Matt, then why did you do it? What? Flattered, but still a little uneasy. True, true, true. He has taken the rejection well. No tantrum or pressure of any sort. Thank God. I'd be bit. Be I better be going then. It was nice talking to you, though. He says, looking back over to me and giving me a smile before getting himself off the bench and taking his leave. I watch him walk off, feeling sort of terrible for how things ended that way they, the way they did. Maybe I'll apologize to him if I ever see him again. 
I stay in the park a little while longer after that odd event. I didn't know if I should go after him or just shake it off and enjoy the rest of my afternoon. My social anxiety can never I wander around the city a little bit more, visiting places I normally wouldn't visit. How fun. After leaving the park, I still can't get that man out of my head. It's baffling. Now, on one hand, I'm glad that he didn't keep harassing me about going out with him, but at the same time, I wish he had stayed around for a little bit and just talked to me like a normal person. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Uh huh. Maybe I've been feeling a little lonely lately. 24-7, you already know. <coughs> I come across a local florist shop that I remember passing on a few of my downtown walks. I've always been meaning to stop in and pick up some flowers for the apartment, but I could never seem to find the time. Well, I have the time now, and I could use a diversion, so why not? Walking in, I look around and take in the rather pleasant aroma of the shop. I wander past the quaint displays of flowers, arrangement, potted plants, and small gifts of bags of pot, pot, potpourri. Pot. Never said that in my life. Potpourri? Man, potpourri. I had a particular purchase in mind. My god, you girl like flowers. Succulents. From rustic, wooden shelf display containing the flowers of various houseplants came a lovely pungent fragrance of the deep red roses. Being mindful that some still had their thorns, I reach out to pick one up. I feel a hand brush against mine. I pull my hand away quickly and, and glance at the person that I didn't see on the other side of the display. Eh? Oh, fancy seeing you here. <coughs> the man from the park beams upon me, seeing me, and gives me a smile before putting the rose out. I didn't know you shopped here too. I, I don't. I say, startled by his presence. The man then gestures me with a finger over his lips. Okay. Shh, it's a small shop. There's no need to raise your voice. This comment rubs me the wrong way, but I try to compose myself. Did you follow me here? I whisper harshly, unsure if crossing paths with him again was a pure coincidence or if I needed to worry about him after all. What? Of course not. He looks a little hurt by my accusation. I come here almost every day, you know. That's a bit of a relief. He fumbles around with the rose in his hand, and his eyes stay shyly focused on the ground. Yo, that is not a nice look right now. I love flowers. This little shop is a, the only one nearby, so I come here a lot to see what new bouquets they have made and if they have any on sale. I'll admit that sometimes I get a glimpse of you through the windows of the diner that you work at. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 What do you mean by that? What the hell? Yo. And lately, I've been meaning to walk in to finally say hi, but, but I lose my nerves and stay out. <clears throat> Dead ass, bro. You've been watching me? What the fuck? You've been watching me? Are you serious? What kind of creep are you? Okay, I wouldn't say creep, but I'm just saying, why are you watching me? Well, it's not like that. He reaches out his hand towards my shoulder in an attempt to con console and calm me down. Not wanting his greasy, grubby hands anywhere on me, I flinch away in shock and disgust. Don't touch me! Don't touch me. Dead ass. Like, don't fucking touch me. I hiss at him. Get away. You know, like, back, back. Like, back, back. you know, and then turn and storm out of the floor shop. I don't look back. Yo, yo. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Stop, stop. Yo, man, these fucking transitions, fade outs, whatever is too, too, too much, too long. I don't want to get jump scared. Oh my god. It's finally getting dark out. Ugh. I hate walking home at night. And after crossing paths with that crazy, with a crazy stalker, I have a good reason for it. And now I'm out later than I wanted because I was trying to take a longer, less traveled path home. Just in case that creepy guy knew more about my habits. Shit. I need to find new places to hang out at. And probably a new job. <clears throat> Damn, that's my apartment. Yo, chill. That's pretty nice. Better than my room. All right, now I storm into the apartment and slam the door behind me before doing another full body shutter. I hear the rummaging sound of my roommate and the study partner in the kitchen come to an abrupt silence after I unceremoniously arrive home. I race by to my bedroom. They have a habit of walking around naked after their study sessions. Yo, fuck off, yo. Bro. Where's the privacy at? Where, where, like, And I don't even know what... I don't even want to see if they were dressed this time. If they were dressed this time. In my room, I flop down on my bed and muffle a frustrated scream in my pillow. You know, kind of like a... You know? After a moment, I roll out, I roll over my back and stare up at the ceiling, trying to forget about my day, trying to forget about him. Before I fall asleep, a sheer exhaustion. My last thought was a simple wish. Man, I hope I never see that weirdo again. Oi! Yo, yo! Whoa, 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 I fucking saw that, yo. Did you see that? Yo, yo, right here, right here. He, that was his fucking head, bro. On God. Yo, I'm not tripping, I swear. I swear that was him. Oh my God. Oh my God, yo, what the fuck is this? That's it? Damn, man. That's it? Yo. Yo. Uh, oh, what? No, 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 no. Well, that's all the game has to offer. I think it's pretty good. I wish I could play more. But, you know, it's not a full release. Okay. Oh!